Hi, everyone. I am Candace Porter, and I want to thank you for joining me today on this YouTube channel where we talk about all things project management. Today, we're going to talk about one of my pet peeves for Smartsheet. When I'm working with a project plan and I create a row report to really kind of sort and filter and see the information that is most meaningful to me, one of my pet peeves you lose the ability to expand and collapse the parent and child task. So for example, if I want to look at a report and only see work breakdown structure level two in there, it's really not very easy to do that. So I'm going to show you a workaround. Today, we are going to work with the ancestor formula in a project plan. We're going to add a column with it so that we have a little bit more to work with when we are viewing a row report. So let me show you what I'm talking about. As you will see in this workspace, I have two things. I have a project plan here and it's called Ancestor Formula. And I also have a report that I've built. So when I click into this report, this is exactly what I'm talking about where in my project plan, underneath initiation phase, these are actually child tasks. But when I'm working in the row report, I don't have that ability, that little plus sign to expand or collapse. So it makes it a lot harder if I'm trying to sort and filter the primary column here. That's what we're going to solve today. I have now gone back into my project plan. So what you're looking at here is the actual project plan in grid view. And you'll now see, I do have the ability to expand and collapse based on these little plus signs here. What I'm going to do to fix it so that when I run the row report, I'm going to add a column. And so I'm going to insert a column to the left and I'm going to call this WBS for work breakdown structure level. I want this to just be text or number. What I'm now going to do is enter the ancestor formula that I want to use. So I'm going to double click on the first row here, and I'm actually going to put this formula in the comments of this YouTube video. So you'll be able to see it in the comments if you just wanna do a copy paste. And this is the formula that's going to help us number the work breakdown structure level. So again, I'm going to put the full formula in the comments to the YouTube video. So hopefully you could just do a copy paste here. When I click enter, you're going to see that it put the name of the project at work breakdown structure level zero. Now, different people have different preferences on how you number your work breakdown structure. I generally do not use zero for the project level. I start with one and then my next level down, which is level two, I do deliverables or phases there and then continue to break down into sub deliverables, task, subtask, and so forth. So I actually prefer to have this, the project level equal work breakdown structure level one. So I'm going to do something very simple. I'm gonna double click on that formula again. And at the end of it, I'm going to add a plus one. So that way each of my work breakdown structure levels are going to go up a level. So now that one is labeled work breakdown structure level one. I am now going to drag that formula down my entire project plan and voila, you'll now see that my level two here is labeled as level two. And then down here, when we get into the execution phase and I have level three and so forth, they are now labeled as level three. I'm going to save this. I'm going to go back to my report now. And within this report where I had the primary column, percent complete, duration, start date, and end date, I want to add a new column. So I had four that were selected to show up in this particular row report. And now I want to add the WBS level. It's always going to add it to the far right-hand side. 
So I'm going to click OK. And then I prefer to have that show up to the far left. So I'm just going to click and drag it. And you're now going to see the work breakdown structure level. And this gives me the ability to sort and filter by the WBS level now that we've got that added in there. So I'm going to just go right here into filter criteria and I'm going to select WBS level. And I only want it to show my level two right now. So again, I have my project name as level one, and then I have the different phases as level two. So I'm going to put in here as my filter criteria, work breakdown structure level is equal to, and I'm going to type in two. I am then going to click okay. Changes have been made to the information in your smart sheet. Would you like to save the changes? Save. And voila, there we go. We now are only seeing work breakdown structure level two here. And that gives me additional options for views. If I wanted to see level one and level two and level three, I could go in and add additional filter criteria. So I'm going to go back into filter because now I've decided I want to show work breakdown structure level one and level two. So I'm going to add a condition and it defaults to and. I actually want it to be or. I want it to show up as or because that's going to mean that work breakdown structure is equal to two or work breakdown structure, which I'm going to add as another condition, is equal to one. Going to click OK. And you will see that I now have my level one, which is project level. And that's going to be the full summary of everything rolling up below it. And then all of my level two, which I have set up as different phases. I hope this information has been helpful for you today. Again, we're talking about how we can add an additional column into our project plan with a formula that is going to tell us exactly what level of our work breakdown structure each row in that project plan is. That allows us to build a new report and again, a row report to where we have additional sort and filter options. I am Candace Porter. Thank you for joining this project management channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It would also be awesome if you subscribe to this channel, if you find interest in it. Have a great rest of your day.